like a bunting uh, greasy rat. <laughs> he is, uh, I mean, from the maybe the third day we were here training, uh, I think I hit him in a drill, and then he wasn't too happy, gave me a couple whacks. He reverse hit me, almost knocked me on my butt, and ever since then, it's. I mean, I knew him, him coming here, what type of game he played, but he's backed it up with uh, his compete in practice, and um, it's just a quick tap on the pads once you're mad with each other, and then your buddies again off the ice, but when it comes to the other team, I mean, he saw him last night uh, getting in everybody's grill, pissing people off. Um, uh, that's what we need on this team, I think. I was going to say, how valuable is that? What does that mean to a team? Yeah, I think it's just bringing that uh, grit factor. I think, uh, you know, we're a team that loves each other. And when we start getting emotional like that, I think everybody feels bigger. Everybody feels uh, more competitive. And, and I mean, I know it was just preseason game three last night, but it was a lot of fun to be on that bench. And I know uh, Kiefer talked about it. And uh, it was just a lot of fun to, you know, come back to the bench and have the boys uh, whooping it up for you, whether you had a, a block shot or a hit or uh, just doing small details in the system. That appears to be the kind of game you want to play, too. Yeah, absolutely. Just. Uh, it's funny, I don't have any <clears throat> scars or cuts in my hands yet. I'm pretty happy about that, but uh, I'm sure I'm sure we'll have uh, some altercations coming up. But yeah, everybody's just doing their job. I have a certain job to do. I'm excited about it every day. Everybody else is excited to come do their job, and, and that's what makes uh, this team a lot of fun right now. You're, you're wearing the orange shirt. Some of the other guys have spoken about this day. What does this day mean to you? And what can people learn from this? Yeah, I mean, I think it's time for Canada to realize. Uh, I know we've talked about this a lot in the social media but you know these things happen in Canada too not just in the state United States not across the world I mean cultural genocide was committed here on the indigenous people of Canada um, started with the government and through the religious system and I don't know if I've seen an acknowledgement from uh, the church but I think they're a huge part in this and um, you know I think atonement needs to be made some atrocities were committed and I think everybody needs to be aware of that you know we can have uh, lots of different people in society and that's what makes uh you know canada a great country you know a lot of different personalities in a locker room that's what makes a great team so i think we just need to apply that to society as a whole what have you read or, or sorry what have you read or listened to that's helped you kind of become aware of that uh just being involved uh with the lgbtqia plus community uh black lives matter all the all the issues are are connected it's called intersectionality they if you support one you support them all so um, there's a lot of oppressed people out there. Um, there's a lot of people that need help. And I mean, look at us around here, a bunch of white people. I think we're the people that need to stand up and um, amplify these voices. I know you were uh, quite active uh, supporting Jalen Samara. Can you talk about what your thoughts of what happened over there in Ukraine and how it's like, <clears throat> not getting resolved? Yeah, I saw Gord Miller cleared it up that he did actually get a 13 game suspension, I believe. I thought it, there was some wording that said, oh, he could pay a fine and get out of the rest of the 10 games. But I guess that's the guideline that 13 games is the max. So I think acknowledgement needs to be made that that's the max, but that needs to be changed going forward. And then um, the yeah, IIHF has the hammer, I guess, if he plays on the national team. And I don't think he should be able to play for at least a year. That'd be in my opinion. I think it's it's pretty uh, light. And uh, I think I saw a tweet that I shared. It's, you know, when you go light on racism, it just breeds. So you got to come down hard on it and there's no there's no excuse for it anymore and his, and with his apology i thought it was pretty disgusting that he was just kind of brushing it off from that standpoint you know wayne was just out here and he said this stuff keeps happening and he's not even sure he wants his kid to play the sport because not much has changed for somebody that's active in this that like you are can you understand where he's coming from yeah, we were just talking about in the shower after he got, he came out here. You know, he's playing in Czech Republic, and people are chanting the word monkey in uh, in his in their language. You know, and then Cash is in there, and, and Cash is a great guy from that country. And he's saying, you know, there's there's stup stupid people everywhere. There's ignorant people everywhere. It doesn't really matter where. Maybe some places are lacking behind, but everywhere needs to wake up. It's it's disgusting. I mean, it's all the information's on the internet. You know, there's no excuse anymore. You can educate yourself in five minutes.